Good morning, Juliet. Having a good day? What can I get for you? Um, uh, yeah. Mocha for me and Americano for Valerie. Coming right up. Can you do that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Since they couldn't get into Hustle Hub to work, Val and Juliet did what every other broke entrepreneur does. They set up their headquarters in a coffee shop. Jules, in a textbook case of avoidance behavior, pretended that last night's Toby Johnson invention would all just go away. Spoiler, it doesn't. Here's your caffeine drip. I bet Rico never even emailed. And if he didn't, I can get Hustle Hub to forgive our rent for this month and sue Hustle Hub for emotional distress. Uh, Rico might sue you for calling him Hustle, honey. You know, I almost went with Hustle Hubby, but oh my god. What? Another artsy dick pic from that guy? Black and white doesn't make it better, my dude. Agree, but actually, it's a message from Rex Colfax. Holy shit. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> I wonder if he has an AOL account. <laughs> Probably Hotmail. What does it say? I'd be interested in meeting. <gasps> a meeting next week, Colfax, Jules. Oh my god, but. But he, he wants... Toby Johnson. What, don't say that. Why do you always have to shout? It, what shouting? I'm talking at a normal human volume, weirdo. Wait, Rex Colfax wants to meet you, me, and Toby Johnson. Shit. Okay, well, just tell Colfax that he's busy. <sighs> Toby's the one who sent him the email, though. He can't just bail. Oh, Toby Johnson, you're killing me. I heard my name. Did I get your order wrong? Uh, no, we didn't call. Hi, Toby. Realm presents The Co-Founder, starring Alexandra Ship and Sunita Mani. Episode 2. Wait, Toby... Toby. Johnson, right? That's my name. Don't wear it out. How's everything, Juliet? You need anything? We, we got these new CBD shots if you want to try. Actually, Toby. Uh, Juliet and I have a proposition. I know you're super busy, but we're in a bind. You seem like the type of guy who'd help us out. Right? If I can, of course. Yeah, he's really nice. <laughs> we need someone to... Um, fill in as a co-founder of our startup. We have a very important meeting next week and, you know, we'll pay you like 200 bucks for just showing up. Our company, Wiley, is a video game creation and hosting platform. Oh, I know. Julia told me. At least the basics. I don't understand the technical stuff, but I've heard what you two are trying to do. It sounds cool. I'll, I'll do it for free. Uh, uh, to, to, wow. What a sweetheart. No, you really don't have to. But he already offered, so... Wow, Toby, oh my god. Me and Juliet have a huge opportunity, but we need someone to play the temporary role of our third co-founder, someone in the cishet male domain. A temporary role like improv? Oh my god. Yes, and... Haha, so you've done improv. Very cool. Mm. It'll be no more than a couple hours. Max, really. Think you can pull it off? <laughs> You've come to the right man. Did you tell her I was an actor, Juliet? She didn't have to. <laughs> You've got a real superstar vibe about you. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. I'm humbled by your kind words. All we need you to do is learn enough about us and the company to be believable. And smile. We'll do the rest. Help us, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> You're our only hope. <laughs> You've got it. C cool. So, yeah, just like... Meet us at our place tonight, um, and we'll brief you, or we'll debrief you, or, I mean, look, you're gonna get briefed tonight. <laughs> wow. Okay, don't worry, everyone will keep their undies on. <laughs> Sounds great. Here's my business card, and text me for the address. Rad, see you tonight. Uh, Juliet, Juliet, Juliet. You named our fake co-founder after the barista you have a crush on? You sound like me, an absolute lunatic. <laughs> I blame the picklebacks. You're 
so horny for him. Shut up. I'm not horny for him. <laughs> oh, and he's an actor, too. Couldn't be more perfect. I know. Juliet, your vagina may have saved our asses. Oh, louder, please. I don't think they heard you in Guadalajara. <laughs> oh, is that where Carlos is living now? Love triangle in the works. You're killing me. A toast to Wiley. <sighs> to Wiley. And you may be asking yourself, what the fuck were they thinking? The world may never know. You mind if I smoke? Yeah, okay, great. <sighs> Do you want? No? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but here's what I do know. They had each other. They'd always had each other. And it's that kind of friendship, that kind of partnership that gives you the security to make bold choices. I mean, admittedly, this was probably too bold a choice, but we're sitting here talking about them, right? They just had to train Toby up to do the part. Jules, can you cool it? You don't need to rearrange the bookshelf for this guy. Why? Because he's a barista? No, I'm just saying you have nothing to prove. <sighs> you created Wiley, which means you know your stuff. <laughs> Relax. She's not wrong. Your nervous energy is giving off a bad vibe. You want a hit of my vape pen? No, thank you. I want to have a clear head. Listen, all you need to do is control the little Juliet living south of your belly button. <laughs> Oh, that's so rude. And maybe not so many Star Wars references tonight. Don't listen to her jewels. Be your nerdy self. Thank you. Oh, God, I hate that explicitly or implicitly I supported this crush or this plan in any way. But I wanted to be supportive, you know? Plus, it's not like I knew I disliked him yet. And once I met him, I really did not like him. Though I couldn't put my finger on why. He was nice enough, kind of a down-the-middle generic white guy who someone with face blindness might call good-looking. Totally innocuous. But maybe that's what set me off. The veneer of pleasantries had to hide something, right? Right? I'm right? Like, I was right. <gasps> oh my god, that's him. I'll get it. <gasps> Here we go. Hopefully Toby Johnson is as natural at being our third co-founder as he is at drawing designs in latte foam. Actually, that's a weak area for him. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> hey. Toby, hi. Hi! Welcome to our humble abode. Please enter. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Uh, you're sitting on my merino wool throw. Oh, sorry. His aura's all off. Don't pay Raina any mind. She's super high. <laughs> <laughs> and it's time. Okay, Toby, welcome to Wiley's Nightly 10 of 10. Timer, please. I think you're gonna need much longer than that to catch him up. I'm off to bed. Don't worry, she'll warm up once we all get to know each other. Speaking of, Toby, I don't know a lot about you. <laughs> Not much to know. Oh, come on. Everyone has a story. <laughs> it's, it's all boring stuff. I grew up outside of L.A. Dad owned a pet shop. I was in the drama club at school, but I never really got any good at studying. Like every white guy moving to L.A. with movie star dreams, it didn't really pan out. It hasn't panned out yet. <laughs> Thanks, Juliet. Why did I think that your dad worked at a hardware shop? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, probably too boring to remember. But your life is way more interesting. No. <laughs> Hey, have you done any traveling? These investment bros, like, love talking about their adventures. You know, to blend in as one of them. Oh, yeah, I could do that. No problem. Have you traveled much? No. But tech guys come into Hustle & Grind all the time. I've heard a million stories. Sailing the Croatian islands, that one hike through Spain, the same motorcycle ride that Che Guevara did. Oh, and, and he can do accents, too. Add some color to your stories. <laughs> Wait, this is actually amazing. You can talk about how your travels opened up your eyes to the disparities in tech, the need to level the playing field. The Colfaxes will love it. Wait, wait, I need to be writing this down. 
This could work. Should we? No way. We're on a roll. If you guys are sure. Toby, the only difference between you and them is a few dollars in a summer home. Summer home? Oh, I could come up with one of those. Hmm. Cat skills? Hmm, too classic. What about Tahoe? Oh, Tahoe. Tahoe could work. Yeah. All right. Let's learn some terms. Why not? Let's see, hella ski? Oh, that sounds great. What is that? What that sounds is. cool, I guess. Hella ski? Do they drop you off? Do you jump what? out? Ooh, you jump out of a helicopter. What is it like? A oh my god. What if it was like a helicopter? A week later and the plan was still a go. They'd trained Toby to give off that disproportionate confidence mediocre men seem to be born with. He was a true Silicon Valley all-star, ready to tell rich people anecdotes and laugh at all the right places. He was ready to pass as their third co-founder in this pitch meeting. Of course, this would have been the opportune time to back out of this certifiably crazy plan but this is when the scale of escalating commitment kicks in. They'd come this far for their company. Why not go all the way? I'm impressed. He's picked up more than I thought he would in a week. Maybe he's not as much of a himbo as I thought. Valerie! Talking about me? Uh, no. <laughs> we were talking about the Colfax meeting. How it's just nine hours away. You know, I think you're as ready as you'll ever be. Thanks. You should probably head home. Need to look refreshed in the morning. Would it be good to look a little haggard to show them I've been preparing? No. You need to look like you don't have a care in the world. These guys are build a penis rocket to Mars, Rich. They're not impressed by hard work. <laughs> you might need to tone down your good looks, though. <laughs> mm, above the belly button, Jules. What? Nothing. <laughs> That's a note you can't do anything about. You can't change the way you look any more than we can change who we are. Despite all our qualifications, we need a man with us just to get in the door. Yeah, that really sucks. I really want to get you guys that money. First, we're women, not guys. Just something I had to get off my chest. Sorry. No. First, thank you. Second, we're women. Third, look, about the money. Yes, right. Okay, so if by some miracle we get the funding, we'll say you've decided to leave the company to take care of... Family issues, yeah. Family issues, sure, whatever. And we'll buy you out for $10,000. Sound okay? We don't have to discuss that right now. I want to focus on what's important. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's sweet. But you're doing us a favor. We will pay you 200 up front for your time and, like we said, 10K if we actually get the funding. Here, take this. And just like a, just a quick note that the check is post-dated a week from now, so just like don't, you know, cash. All right, just FYI. I, I, I can't accept this. I really believe in Wiley. I've made friends with a lot of startup people that come through Hustle Hub, and most of those guys don't even have any vision. You guys, I mean, you too, have something special. If the gold faxes don't bite, I don't want to take any money from you. Well, if you insist. Valerie. You heard the man. We really appreciate you doing this for us. Seriously. This has the potential to be a game changer for Wiley. I'm just glad I could help. Well, I should get going so I can look well rested. Sure. Well rested. But more like relaxed. Effortless. Rich. And confident. Like Han Solo. Okay, time to go. Yeah, I'll just, I'll walk you out. No, no, um, I'll, I'll walk him out. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning at the Falcon Tower. You know, you two have worked so hard to develop this idea. I really want this to work out. Honestly, you should have taken the check. <laughs> You've already earned it by sitting through Valerie's lectures for a week. Yeah, Valerie's, uh, she's... Intense? <laughs> That's a way of putting it. Is she that hard on you, too? No, it's not like that at all. She just cares. A lot. Wiley wouldn't be anything without her. What does she do again? I should know the answer after those marathon sessions, right? Well, I mean, she's marketing, partnerships, strategy, fundraising, my co-founder, my best friend since first grade. Well... 
I know Wiley wouldn't be anywhere without your badass coding. I know Wiley wouldn't be anywhere without your badass coding. Mm-hmm. But since you brought it up, uh, can I ask you something? Yeah, of course. If we get this money, can I take you out for a drink? J just you. Oh. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, great. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah, great. So good. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't get it. Ugh, but I do. Jules has a thing for dimples and also men, which, to each their own, whatever. But also, he made her feel listened to. And in fact, he was an excellent listener. Because he was more prepared for this Colfax meeting than anyone gave him credit for. Because once they set foot inside that fancy office tower, shit got real. Toby better not flake. Where is he? Traffic, probably? It's 9.03. Colfax hasn't even called us up yet. It's fine. A Colfax can be late. They're supposed to be late. If Toby wants to pay me a million, he can also be late. Oh, God, Toby's packing out. I know it. No, he said he'd do it last night. Whatever it is, he'll have a good excuse. <sighs> is that big Julia talking or little Juliet? Oh, so you don't trust my judgment now? Are you the Wiley team? Yes, yes, we're Wiley. Great, I'm Mr. Colfax's assistant. Follow me, please. <clears throat> so our partner got called. I'm sorry to keep you waiting in the lobby. I assume that everyone was here since the meeting started already. I'm sorry? Toby, already speaking to Rex Colfax. Oh, ha, ha, ha. He, he, he started the meeting without us. Valerie, Juliet, you made it. I have my notes from our training sessions. I did everything you guys said. With one big fucking exception. Okay, I know how it looks, but I took the initiative to get here early and Rex Colfax walks in and I introduce myself and what was I supposed to do? You weren't here. Text us, call us, send us a carrier pigeon. And risk being rude by getting my phone out. Okay, enough. Now is not the time. <sighs> we'll deal with you later. I'm gonna have my meeting and you're gonna shut the hell up. After you, boss. Don't worry, Juliet, I told them all about you. Uh, thanks. Mr. Colfax, uh, <clears throat> Rex, uh, these are my Wiley co-founders. <laughs> Valerie, Juliet, me, Mr. Colfax. Well, it's very nice to meet you two ladies. I've heard quite a bit about your program, Juliana. Juliet. Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Well, listen, I'm telling you, it's unlike anything available. The most revolutionary aspect is the integration. I'd love to go over the specifics, Rex. <laughs> so if you'll look um, at our pitch deck oh, here. Oh, oh, no, no, no need, no, there's no need for that. You know, Toby here, uh, he, he told us everything we need to know, so it's fine. Oh. No, I only need a few minutes. Don't worry about it. We'll be in touch soon. I, uh, well, no. Sounds uh, great, Rex. Thanks. And, uh, hey, let, let's do a weekend sometime up in Tahoe, huh? Toby, right? You got it. All you had to do was stick to the plan. I'm sorry. Oh, what was I supposed to do? Not take their invitation upstairs? You told me to be a part of the company and work some masculine mojo. That's exactly what I did. You said last night to never say no. So I improvised. Yes. And? Ugh. What does it matter now, huh? Honestly, I'm kind of relieved not to have to sit through another pitch meeting. You don't know me that well, Toby, but you should know that if you fuck this up for us, I'll send you back to outside of L.A. in a body bag. Valerie. I think I'm going to die of an actual rage stroke. I taste... Purple. I is that normal? Hey, God. Toby, this is... Where'd you get the suit? So I went to a resale shop. I had some credit a while back, and I figured I'd use it to look the part. God. Do I look like an idiot? Ugh. No, no, not at all. I am... I mean, I still look pretty great. Oh, my God. I better get back to my day job now. It's gonna be so boring after my performance earlier. Oh, and you can keep your 200 bucks. I got a good feeling about this. See you later, Jules. 
Who the hell does he think he is? Oh, can we just let it go? You, your boy toy could have really fucked this up for us. He's not my boy toy, and this wasn't his idea. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. <sighs> if we don't get that money, I swear I'm gonna kill him. Meanwhile, I was on a lunch date when it all went down. A first date, not a very good one. It just happened to put me in the right place to catch a very incriminating whiff of Toby bullshit at the right time. So, I finished my PhD in anthropology a couple of years ago, and now I'm taking some foreign literature classes. Interdisciplinary, you know? <laughs> it's where all the exciting work is happening these days. <laughs> <laughs> Though, my roommates are doing the real exciting work. They founded this gaming company that's so innovative and whatnot. Everyone is in tech in this city. <laughs> but you're not. You play the dulcimer, right? <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> that's like a boss-level lab harp. Uh, yes. Uh, the most commonly asked for gift last Christmas. <laughs> well, but seriously, I've been playing since I was 12. Oh, uh, sorry. Let me check this. Hmm. Let me guess. You have to leave to take care of an emergency. Listen, if you don't like me, you can just say no, it straight- No, no. I was just expecting some news from my roommates. They had a big important meeting this morning. Wait, do people often bail on first dates with you? Uh, define often. You know what? I'm not a bull. I don't have to charge at that red flag. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds me of my latest trip to Spain. Went to Pamplona with a friend of mine who is a total Hemingway nut. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had such a crush on her. Why didn't it work out? Oh, you know, she was straight. Hmm, that complicates things. Yeah, uh, but men complicate things. Always. You know, my roommate and her crush might go into business together. And to make matters worse, this guy gives me a bad feeling. Like, like he was laying it on too thick, you know? But maybe I'm a terrible judge of character. Maybe not, if you're on a date with me. And anyway, your gut is probably right. I hate all men. Got it. What else do you hate? Um, rainy days and Mondays always get me down. That's a song lyric, right? <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Anyway, uh, I also hate all the usual is, you know, racists, ageists, sexists, lookists. Ugh. Ooh, solid list. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? Greedy capitalists. Yeah. Especially the ones who ruin the environment, like the Landon family. Huh. They don't want the world to move on to new energy so they don't lose a buck. Yep. They're the worst. Literally? The worst. <laughs> I should pause and clarify she's talking about me. Or my family, at least. Lots of people think we're the worst, and I don't disagree. But I never wanted Val and Jules thinking I was the worst, which is why I never told them. And why I use my mother's maiden name, Raina Pierce. <clears throat> anyway, let's shift gears things I love. Hmm. Making cookies that look like the Kardashians so I can bite their heads off. <laughs> Naturally? Cat toys. But not cats. <laughs> and pulling the cheese off pizza to eat it later. Oh. Oh, shit. Look at that. Emergency text. Uh -huh. Oh, so sorry. Here's a few bucks to cover our coffees. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> mm. Toby? Hey. Reina. Miss Marino Wool. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were on the phone. No, it's cool. Uh, let me wrap this up. Sorry to interrupt. Were you talking to family? I picked up a little Russian from my class on East European literature. Not family. Just practicing for a role. I see. I just wanted to say hi before I bolt. Bad date. Uh, how did the meeting go? I haven't heard from Jules or Valerie. Oh, it was amazing. But I'll let them tell you the details. I'm on my break, so I, I better get going. Huh. Pretty far for your break. We're like a mile away from the cafe, right? 
I like to walk while I talk. I gotta burn off all that caffeine. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Yeah, bye, I guess. <laughs> Weird. Welcome to Hustle and Grind. Can I help you? Hi, yes. Is Toby Johnson in the back? I'd like to speak to him. No, miss. Toby quit today, right before morning rush. Bastard. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Hope he's not a friend. Nope. I don't really know him at all. <laughs> I don't, do I? That's right. That fucker quit his job. Val had actually gone to apologize, to be the bigger person, to try and meet Juliet halfway and make this whole thing work just a little bit longer. In retrospect, it was obvious he was up to something. I mean, the whole Russian thing, super sketchy. <sighs> but they had <coughs> big, big dreams for Wiley. <laughs> and you can rationalize nearly anything if you're that close to achieving them. But uh, no one, least of all Jules and Val, deserve what happened next. The ruthlessness, the deception. God, that fucker can burn in hell. That thing is on, right? Okay, good, because I don't mind going on the record. That fucker, Toby Johnson, can burn in hell. You're listening to The Co-Founder, starring Alexandra Shipp and Sunita Mani. The Co-Founder is a Realm original production. Realm, your portal to another world. Listen away. The co-founder is executive produced by and stars Alexandra Shipp and Sunita Mani. Written by Alexis Wilkinson, Alexa Waco, and Mimi Mondal. Produced by Rhoda Bayeza, Kaylin West, and Haley Wagreich. Directed by Kaylin West. Executive produced by Molly Barton, Marcy Wiseman, and Julian Yap. Associate produced by Michael Coulter. Starring Alexandra Shipp, Sunita Mani, Tony Hawk, Ryan Vincent Anderson, Bartley Booz, Cecily Louise Bro, Vishesh Chatra, Will Dow, Trey Hall, Angel Harper, Kavi Ladnier, Leon Mandel, Samia Mounts, Jillian Munsayek, Tanya Posick, and Loa Valdez. Additional voices by the cast. Audio editing and sound design by Marissa Ewing and Melissa Pons of Hemlock Creek Productions. Supervising sound design by Rory O'Shea. Original theme and transition music by Phoebe Danskin. Music supervision by Amy Parker. Production manager, Alexis Latshaw. Casting by Sunday Bowling and Meg Mormon. Cover art by Kendall Thomas. Executive in charge for Realm, Mary Asadolahi. Special thanks to Pia Wilson. Find more shows like The Co-Founder by following Realm on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or at realm.fm. The Co-Founder is a Realm original production. No, it's cool. Uh, let me wrap this up. Whoa, a man of many talents. Is that Russian? Because, you know, I toured through there in the 2000s. In fact, Moscow is level eight of my... Toby. Tobes, did he just hang up on me? Well, ugh. all right, back to the game. Get it, get it, no! Ah, oh, figure out my twist to reeve it are so much easier in real life. 